Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you vacuum liquid chromatography or VLC. So when you have the compound, according to the stills, if you see that your compound is in the top spot, so you can do this vacuum liquid chromatography uh, instead of doing column. It can be done very quickly. So here, I, this is the column actually. So this is a lot of process to do before set up in the column, loading the sample. But VLC is a shorter technique. So there is a special apparatus uh, that is called flash column or having a tube uh, connected with it to put the vacuum from the bottom side and you can attach your flask with this column. And there is a freight in the bottom. So it will. you don't need to use any cotton for that. So uh, attach the flask. Uh, attach the uh, that flash column with a flask and pour the silica gel on top of this column and then put some uh, sand on top of the silica and then load your sample and then run the solvent like a regular column but with the vacuum suction from the bottom the compound can be isolated quickly so here I put some silica in the column. Now I'm giving the vacuum to make sure that there is no gap between the silica gel, uh, like to make a packed silica uh, column or like packing it should be nice. So make sure that this layer should be like evenly um, equal, like no parabolic inclination and then put some sand on top of that and after that add a little bit solvent on this sand um, before loading your sample so here i have added the solvent now i am i have this crude in this vial so i'm going to add little hexen to dissolve it and then i'll load the sample on top of this silica flash column so here i'm using the hexen to dissolve my crude sample in the vial and i'll little bit swirl it before pouring it because uh, to dissolve and in some cases if it is not dissolved completely so you can add a couple of drops of ethyl acetate here i added the sample on the sand layer and um, even it is not evenly added try to add evenly but if it is not evenly added then um on the sand it, it will be okay and now do the second rinse or like wash from the vial so uh, i am adding a little bit of ethyl acetate in the vial so that all of the sample dissolved uh, get dissolved so now i'm swirling and i'm pouring it again and once i'm done with the loading of the sample then i will add a layer of cotton on top of the silica and the sand because while i'm pouring the sample uh, solvent on this it will protect not to disturb the sand layer al along with the silica layer okay so now it is done um uh, everything is loaded like sample loaded and also the uh, cotton is um uh, placed inside the column now i'm going to add the solvent mixture so here i'm gonna run two percent um ethyl acetate in hexen for purification of my compound <clears throat> so here i'm pouring it still my vacuum was not on so once the solvent is added here as a mobile phase so i'm going to turn on the vacuum um so here i'm connecting the vacuum line in the bottom side of the flash column so you you can see that <coughs> let me attach it yep i attached it now i'm gonna turn on the vacuum from this line double manifold line so you'll see the solvent will be sucked by the vacuum pump and you can see that the solvent is moving down so by this way the compound also will be coming so since my compound is as a top spot so i am expecting my compound will come first and definitely for this kind of setup you should have 
like couple of round bottom flask washed ready because each fraction each time you will run like 500 mil like based on the column size and the crude size for this size of column each time i will run 500 milliliter of the solvent and that solvent uh, will be collected in one flask and then i will transfer i will change another flask i will connect the another flask with this column and i will check the tlc for the first collected flask so every time um, you can check the tlc uh, if you don't have the pure compound in your hand then you can uh, keep some uh, crude material and then you can compare the tlc from the crude material but i already had the a pure sample in my hand because i made it before so i know my pure sample so i can check the tlc of every flask i am collecting so once you collected the like first flask see you can see that from the bottom it is uh the liquid is coming out with the vacuum pressure and make sure that if you have the high vacuum pump so do not use that high vacuum pump for this purpose try to use the regular vacuum or house vacuum which is connected with the hood system so um with the high vacuum it can come everything like so quickly with the impurity but if you uh, can control the vacuum slow vacuum to the sl slow vacuum so it will come slowly but still it is faster than the regular column so here i am collecting this liquid uh, first as a first fraction and i also kept uh, i have kept another flask ready to collect for the next fractions so once this solvent layer is done f collect collection is done then i will remove the vacuum part vacuum tube and then i'll close the vacuum for a minute and then i'll change the column to another flask so i have changed another flask here i'm collecting for the second fractions and while i am doing rotobe for the first fraction i have collected in my first flask so here i have added the solvent now you you are seeing that i already doing the rotobe for the first flask what i have collected for the first time and now you can see in my first flask i already have seen my compound as a pure product because i checked my tlc so by this way i will be collecting different fractions and i will always check the tlc to make sure that all compounds are out and once it is done then your column is done it is very first and quick so i think this video will help you to understand how to purify your compound quickly with a flash column by using vacuum so if you like my video please uh, give a like and share my video and stay safe bye now